Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a Sky Knight. Uh, so if you've ever ran a standalone window manager, you know, doesn't matter if it's tiling or stacking or, you know, what have you, they generally don't come with a, uh, you, you know, a background, uh, a desktop image, if you will, well, well, the, with the exception of, uh, I think Awesome WM does. That's the only one that off the top of my head that I know of that comes with an actual, like, uh, you know, desktop image. Uh, so today, uh, we are going to go over how I go about, uh, kind of setting up a desktop. Uh, it is with a program called Fe or Fe. Not entirely sure how it's pronounced. F E H is, uh, what the name of the program is. Uh, the program itself can do a large amount of like image manipulation things and, uh, stuff like that. But I just use it to set a background. It works really well for that. We're actually going to be setting up a hotkey with SXHKD uh, that we're able to just manually, or, yeah, kind of manually change the wallpaper on the fly, whatever you want. Should be pretty neat. Uh, but before we get too far into it, uh, the drink of the night, uh, it was before I drank it all because of technical difficulties uh it was an old-fashioned uh with uh white label evan williams uh as a base it's really good uh i every time i have evan williams the white label uh, i think it's hunter proof uh bottled and bond great stuff for you get uh like a 175 for like 25 bucks crazy cheap punches well above its weight for, you know, just being, I, w I would gladly pay like 60 bucks, 70 bucks for a 175 of that stuff, but I get it for 25 because I, I, I guess they don't think it's worth that much. So I'm happy about that. Uh, anyways, let's get into it. All right. So if you've been following along or if you haven't, uh, this is essentially a uh, base Debian a uh, virtual machine, it has uh, BSPWM as the uh, tiling window manager of choice because, well, I think BSPWM is pretty great. Uh, other than that, that's really all you need to know. This should work on any tiling window manager. It will not work on, you know, desktop environments like uh, GNOME or KDE or XFCE. They all have their own individual way to set the desktop uh, image and this, they kind of like overwrite whatever, uh, FE or FE, or FE, FEH does. Uh, so anyways, let's, uh, let's get into actually installing this. So we have a black screen. We would not like a black screen. What should we do? Uh, well, first you need to download some images. I have done that off camera already. Uh, I have put them in uh, my home directory uh, slash pictures slash wallpaper. And they're actually a whole bunch of, let me increase the font size of this. They are just a whole bunch of uh, digital blasphemy images. Um, I have a subscription to digital blasphemy. Um, if you haven't heard of it, check it out. Um, I'll, I'll uh, leave the link in the description. Uh, you saw the uh, the list of all of the hundreds and hundreds of uh, 2560 by 1440 images that they have. And my God, they have lots of images. Uh, so we have all of those in a folder that we want to use. Cool, right? Uh, so I'm putting these in my home folder. I believe you're the correct location is uh, like slash USR slash share slash wallpapers. Let's see if that actually exists. Uh, CD slash USR share wall. No. Maybe it would exist if you had a uh, actual desktop environment, but we don't, at least for this example. Uh, so what do we need to do? Uh, first thing we need to do is install fe or fe. So sudo apt install fe. Fe. I don't know how I'm going to say it from here on out. So you're going to hear multiple ways. Uh, but this should be in just about every 
package manager archive that I've ever encountered, so you shouldn't have a problem just finding it. So, if we check that it's installed, which fay? There it is. And if we just look at the man page, it does a whole lot of stuff. A whole lot of stuff that I'm never going to look I, like I am. I'm sure that this would be a great thing to do, you know, command line image manipulation. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. All that I want to do is so you see this dash dash randomize right here. And then there should be some sort of a fill option or a background. Let's just see for, let's just look for, oh, I, I think it's background back. Ah, yeah, what do you know? It'd be under background settings. Uh, so we are looking for uh, slash slash BG fill. So we want a dash dash BG fill. And then I believe dash dash randomize was the other one that we wanted. So let's just run this. So fe dash dash BG dash fill and then dash dash random eyes. And then we're going to want to give it a path to, you know, the images that it wants to uh, select. Uh, in this case, it's, it's my home slash pictures slash wallpaper folder. And if you have multiple subfolders within like your wallpaper folder, uh, like I actually do on my regular system, uh, just throw in an asterisk that will select everything in this folder and everything in all these subfolders. Uh, if you don't include the asterisk, it will only do the things in the slash wallpaper. So there you go. It's easy. It changed in the back. Let's see what it did. And I don't have my transparency on Kitty, so let's close that. Okay. I haven't, I haven't seen most of these before, so this is pretty neat. Uh, but what we want to do is we wanted to make this kind of executable as a shortcut. Uh, so let's pop into our sxhkd. In my case, I'm going to use vim.config sxhkd and the sxhkdrc file. And we are just going to add a new line, uh, probably up right under where we're starting Firefox and give it a comment of a randomize background. So I like to do super plus Z and then for the command, it'd be the same thing we did. So FEH dash dash BG dash fill and then dash dash randomize and we give it a path. Uh, so our home, pictures, wallpaper, and everything inside of that. Uh, that should be all we need to do. So right and quit out of that. We can close Kitty. Super escape to reload our SXHKD daemon. And then Super Z. And now you can change the desktop with a... Oh, that last one was cool. Unfortunately, there's not a way to just go back. Uh, like I would have liked to go back to the pumpkin one, but oh, festive. I like that one. I like that one quite a bit. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. All like all of, uh, all of this guy's stuff is really cool. Ah, uh, you can see the. URL down here at the bottom, uh, digitalblasphemy.com. Um, I'm totally fine with having a watermark on these, even though I paid for them, because, you know, you got to support the creators that you appreciate, you know? All right, and there is one more thing that we would like to do. So if we reboot and we start X again, we're back to no screen. I mean, sure, we can click... Uh, Super Z, I mean, that's bound. It'll be bound. The hell is this, Plants vs. Zombies? This is terrifying. 
Okay, sure. Um, so what I would like is it for just to, you know, remain there or remember what it was last time. Uh, there's actually a handy tool for that. So if we look at our home directory, there is this executable called .fehbg. And actually, I've never actually looked at what it contains. It looks like it contains, I think this is seriously just a big ass list of all the things. And I think the most recent one uh, should be at top. Ring of fire. Does this look like a ring of fire? Yeah, I can see that. Uh, kind of looks like a volcano with uh, smoke coming out. Ring of... Let's see if it changes. So, Super Z. Okay, that's definitely should not be a ring of fire. Uh, let's look at what that was. Oh, I guess I didn't really need to do Vem, but... Okay, so yep, uh, the first one in the list is the most recent one, so I assume that's how it knows uh, what it is. Anyways... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to essentially launch this script from uh, within our BSPWM. So vim.config BSPWM BSPWM RC. And I don't think it really matters where this goes. I mean, I think it would make sense to put it after the fixed resolution one. So let's do that. Uh, actually, no, let's put it way at the bottom just to make sure that everything is loaded. So uh, we could just do home and dot fehbg, right and quit. And then now let's try to reboot again. And as we boot it up, it uh, automatically runs. Cool beans. All right, so that is kind of how I set up my desktop backgrounds. Uh, you may certainly do something different. You could set up a uh, systemd service to automatically switch it every so often uh you can do that with the calendar setup uh, i like to manually you know super z just to uh if i get sick of something i'll change it um, and if i like to look at it for a while longer you know i'll keep it there um yeah anyways uh i'm sky knight thank you all for hanging out with me have a good one